Hello everyone, welcome to Darling in Debt. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my 21 total debt closeout along with sharing with you guys which ones of my financial 2021 goals I accomplished. Um, but before we get into that, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I make a lot of personal finance videos here on YouTube. And if that sort of content interests you, then feel free to be part of my journey. I would love to have you guys here. And I hope everyone had a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. I know it was really nice for me to unplug for a while and spend some time with my family. And it feels really good going into the new year, taking a step back and just taking a look at my finances and seeing how far i've come if you guys are new here um i started my debt-free journey in march of 2021 so it was this year and before starting my debt-free journey i really didn't have a plan with money um i sort of just kind of spent money on whatever i wanted and i was i wasn't frugal i was cognizant of where i was spending money and i was trying to make sure i didn't live above my means but um, I didn't necessarily have a plan with money and taking a step back and looking at my looking at my numbers and thinking and about what I wanted to talk about in this video I was really proud of myself for how much I've grown up in terms of first personal finance knowledge and resiliency it's definitely been a year of learning to be resilient um, and so yeah without further ado let's go ahead and just talk about the numbers i've divided this video in three different uh categories one is just breaking everything down by the numbers which is like how much i spent towards paying off debt how much actually went to interest how much debt i have left going into 2022 and then i'm going to talk about the milestones that i had within this year and then i'm also going to end it with the um, financial goals that I accomplished from 2021. I had posted a video of my 2021 20, five financial goals and I reviewed the video and you know, just did an assessment of how I actually did compared to those goals. So starting with the numbers, um, I started my debt-free journey at about $20,000 of debt. Uh, then in October, I had to get a lot of work done to my car. I ended up putting that on my card because I was also in the middle of a job transition and there wasn't that stability of income. So that increased my debt to $21,700. Um, the total debt that I have paid off in 2021 is $4,418, which is 20.4%. And I calculated that and I was like almost sad. I was like, oh my gosh, like I felt like I made so much progress. How is that possible? I realized that's because I added to my debt. So in terms of how much I have left to pay off, I have $17,282 left to pay off towards my debt. So I calculated like how much did I actually pay uh, towards debt this year. So since I started in March, um, my total payment toward debt was $7,301.61, which is a lot of money, like $7,000, $7,300 went towards debt this year. That's insane. Um, but how much of that went to interest? Can you guys guess? Um, $1,394 went to interest. So almost $1,400 went to interest, just sucked up by the bank. So in reality, I actually contributed $5,907 toward debt this year, so $5,900 toward debt. But the reason that only $4,418 was paid off in debt was because I, I added to my debt when I went to get my car checked out. So um, the my car visit, my visit for my car added $1,300 in debt towards my debt total. So it was a little sad to see that number, but in closing, $7,301 went to debt, but after interest and after adding to my debt, in reality, only $4,408 counts towards my debt payoff, making it 20.4%. So, a little bit of a hard pill to swallow 
and taking a step back and looking at my numbers. I have made so much progress this year, but I have still so much more work to do with $17,000 left in credit card debt. So that's the numbers. Let's go ahead and talk about the milestones that I did accomplish. Um, there were three milestones that I kind of wanted to touch base on. One was the fact that I was able to throw $2,000 towards my car. If you guys have been here in, since March, I talked about in my March video, starting my debt-free journey, that I was a little bit nervous. I felt like there was a lot of debt coming my way and that I wasn't gonna be able to pay it off. And I just had a goal of, of putting $2,000 extra dollars towards my car. If I could do that, I could pay off my car six months early. I was scheduled to pay off my car in November of 2022. That would get me to April. Well, I was able to do that and that was amazing. And it was really, really exciting. So that is one milestone that I wanted to highlight from this year. My second milestone that I wanna highlight from this year is that I had so many side hustles. If you guys watched my 2021 side hustle total income, I made about $3,500 in side hustle income from the year. Uh, predominantly, most of that came from Rover and Photography, and if you guys wanna see that video, I'll link it below. Um, but I started off not doing any side hustles when I started this debt-free journey and quickly realized that I was going to need to if I wanted to quickly pay off debt. So. I tried all sorts of different things and it really worked out. And so that was really exciting and a personal milestone for myself, getting myself out of my comfort zone, putting myself out there and trying different things to make extra money. And my last milestone, which is certainly not least, but my favorite, is that I did pay my car off by Christmas. Um, I started my auto loan at the beginning of my debt-free journey being around 6K and I, uh, just threw every extra penny that I could for my side hustles. I wasn't making as much money at the time, which I'll get into that in a minute, but I wasn't making as much money at the time and I was just kind of like, oh my gosh, like I need to, I need to um, make more money and throw that money at my car. And originally I was supposed to pay off my car, November, 2022. Uh, I was able to make a goal and hit it of finished paying it off by April of 2022. And then from there, I made this aspirational goal. Like I would love for my Christmas present to myself be that I have my car paid off. And that's exactly what I did. And I even filmed it so you guys can watch it. It's my previous video. If you watched the one before this one, I call the bank and I bring you guys with me paying off my auto loan. I have a Jeep Wrangler that is officially mine and the title should be coming in soon to the mail. So those are the three milestones that I accomplished this year that I'm really, really proud of. Um, I got uncomfortable and I worked hard to pay off my car by Christmas and that happened. So I'm really, really proud of those things. And the only debt I have left is my credit card debt, which we're gonna get to. Uh, last thing I wanna talk about are the five financial goals that I had laid out um, with you guys earlier this year. And I wanted to talk about which ones of these that I accomplished this year. So the first one I mentioned in that video was to rebuild my emergency fund. Um, I had depleted my emergency fund at the time of filming that video because I had a really expensive vet visit from Cider hurting her leg and I had rebuilt my emergency fund. Um, so I, I did that. Number two was to pay off the car by the end of 2021. I just talked about that and I did accomplish that probably my my biggest accomplishment of this year that I'm so proud of financially. So I accomplished goal number two. Goal number three was to have 50K in retirement by the end of 2021. So I checked my account this morning and it turns out I am $344 short of completing this goal. Um, so I am currently standing at a total in retirement at 49,656. Um, I'm filming this on the 26th, so depending on like how the market plays out, potentially by New Year's, I would have 50,000, but I don't think so. Um, so a little short on this goal by about 300 bucks, but it's gonna happen at the beginning of 2022, so I'm not like too worried about it. Goal number four was to be debt-free. Now, I didn't put a year with this. Um, I said it was in my 2021 like financial goals that I have, but I didn't say I wanted to be debt free by the end of 2021. And that would have been very unrealistic of Lee to have created that sort of goal for myself. Um, but that is still a goal of mine. And we will talk about that more in my 2022 financial goals videos, which will be going out this week. So stay tuned for that. 
Um, so that was something that wasn't accomplished, but I think I made a dent and I am proud of that dent. And last but certainly not least, my last financial goal that I had said in that video was to make six figures by 30. So in case you guys didn't know, in December I did turn 29 and um, I did have a job transition in October, two months before that, and I do make over six figures now um, and I did it before I was 30. So that's really exciting. I did accomplish that goal and a year sooner than I had projected. Um, if you guys aren't super familiar with my story, pretty much I had a sweet job in New York City. Then that firm went under from COVID and I had, I was unemployed for a couple months, um, which sort of is how I got into so much credit card debt. But then I found a job, but it was quite a bit of a pay cut. Um, but a lot of people weren't hiring at the time because it was in the midst of COVID. So I accepted the position um, knowing it was pay cut. And I really, really liked the position, but I knew it wasn't, an, I knew I needed, I knew I deserved to make more. Um, I held out for a year, A, so that the job market could get better, but then B, because I wanted to see if I could get the raise that I wanted. Um, I had negotiated the pay um, when I initially took the job and I was hoping that the raise would come through and it didn't, the company, um, and their policy just didn't really allow for the type of raise that I was wanting. Um, it didn't even cover the cost of inflation. So knowing that I had to find something else. So when I looked at other jobs, I knew I wanted to make six figures by 30. And so I just reached for it and I got it. So that's really, really exciting for me. Um, you guys probably haven't seen my financial impact of that since I started making a higher income because as soon as I started making that sort of income we hit the holiday season and so I'm really interested now that the holidays are almost over you know besides New Year's I'm really excited to see into 2022 how I can really um, deflect lifestyle creep and just use that extra income to pay off more of my debt. So I'm very, very happy. I'm very, very excited um, to be making what I'm making and I feel blessed. I, I, I made that goal and I completed that goal and I'm very happy about it. So of the five goals that I had outlined in that video, I had definitely completed three of the five, which is not bad. One of them, almost, I kind of want to just count it because my next paycheck at the beginning of January is gonna make it over 50K, so I kinda wanna count it. I'm gonna count it, guys. I'm gonna say that I completed four of the five. And the fifth one, which is just to be debt-free, is a work in progress. So that is my current standing of my financial goals of 2021. Though I'm not debt-free, I did pay off my car, I did increase my salary, put 50K pretty much into retirement. So it wasn't a bad year. I might not be debt free yet, but I did complete three major things. And those are things that I think are worth celebrating and remembering with my debt free journey that I started in March. I haven't even really given myself a full year yet. In March of 2022, I'm gonna make a one year anniversary of my debt free journey and to see where I'm at. And I'm really, really excited to see what kind of progress I make within the next couple months. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. My 2022 money goals video is going to be going up within this week, so be sure to stick around and check that out. If you had any major significant money moves this year that you're really excited about and wanna share, leave that in the comment below, and I would love to be able to hear everyone else's good news. And that's about it, guys. We're gonna head into 2022 with one consumer debt left that we are going to tackle and we're gonna get after it. So that's it, I'll talk to you guys later, bye.